in this video i'm going to talk about quick replies now quick replies uh, are the functionality uh, which is provided to an agent to quickly reply to uh, a conversation now instead of typing a wide long text the agent can select uh, say specific quick reply and then send across to the customer in a uh, quick amount of time now quick replies are a predefined messages that can be created for agents to respond to the questions or the queries raised from the customer tags can be attached to quick replies to search faster now imagine a situation whereby you have hundreds of quick replies configured in your system now you can't just remember all those hundred items so tags are the quick way to identify the quick replies and then send across to the customer Quick replies can be provisioned with the dynamic chat text. So it need not be a hard coded text. There can be some dynamicity involved in it. Like you can specify the agent name, customer name, and all other parameters with regards to the dynamic text available within the system. Quick replies can be classified and tagged into categories. Okay. Uh, quick replies can be added to a work streams. Or uh, we can view quick replies preview. Okay, so let me show you in action. But before then, that I'll show you some of the uh, settings which are available. So if you see in the screen, uh, it is available under productivity. So you see quick replies over here. Now uh, under productivity, if you go to quick reply, you will see a table which has a title, locale, tags, and messages. Uh, and then you can configure the tags uh, while creating the quick reply. You can attach this to a work stream. Uh, if it is not attached to a work stream, it is available for all. Uh, then you can select a predefined dynamic text like the first name of the agent, customer first name, agent full name, customer full name, last name, nickname, and all those sort of things. And then you can plug into your messages so that that message becomes dynamic. So in this example, it says, hey, this is from first name agent. So this is uh, uh, agent first name. Okay, so if you see agent first name, so this tag has been, uh, this text has been used as a dynamic text uh, within this message. Okay, so let me show you an action how this thing works. Okay, so um, I'm in the customer service admin center. If you want to go for quick reply, what you need to do is like just type quick reply. Okay, the moment you type quick reply, you will find quick reply and personal quick reply i'll do a separate video on personal quick reply first let me walk through quick replies now in quick replies you will see this interface okay i've already created some quick replies what it does it says it allows agents to create their own quick reply messages with keyboard tagging manage and create frequently used messages that agents can use to quickly respond to customers okay so this is for that quick interaction with the customer now let's see how do you create a quick reply I, if i click on new and maybe uh, let me say uh, say ask whether to customer okay so this is one of the quick reply okay so locale we i'll choose e and us tax let me put say weather okay weather is one of the uh, tag okay now the moment i Put an enter it adds hash to it okay you can also type hash uh, say temperature okay yeah. or maybe you can uh, put uh, say uh, say celsius okay so these are the tags which you can use to get this quick reply okay now here i will say a high customer okay high customer say xxx how's the weather Better at your place. Okay, so this is just like a random question. Now this xxx can be replaced with a dynamic text. Okay, um, so this xxx. Let me take this off and then replace this with the customer first name. Okay, so I'll just select customer first name and then this dynamic text will be added over here. Myself, I'll just say myself and then the agent full name or agent first name can be displayed
something like that okay and then i will save this record okay so remember the tag weather temperature celsius and then the quick reply is ask weather to customer and i save this record okay now uh, some of the tags which i've already created it has uh, power and power bi in it okay i can demonstrate that this uh, quick reply which i've just added it might take a while uh, for the screen to reflect but uh, i can show you in action so this is one of the conversation which is happening over here uh, and i'm talking to the customer so you say hi and there is uh, some uh, conversation which i have just started so here how to access quick reply is you click on uh, some this icon over here and here you will see all under all you will see all the quick replies which you have created okay now remember i told you that i have created a weather one right uh, so here uh, i will not find that because i've just added it you know like uh, now okay for the other uh, reply which i have already added let me find that out you know if i type power and if i click on power okay then the uh, quick reply will be shown over here and then you need to you know like just say uh, press enter you know and then you just select this and then this text will get uh, populated okay and then you can send across to the customer so similarly again going back here if you select from the text of replies anything which you see with the globe icon is kind of you know you can use it uh, it's kind of a global quick reply okay this is not personal to you okay anything which has this person icon is a personal reply uh, which i'm going to demonstrate that in my next video so again if you type say hello you know uh, then you will find this uh, quick replies available you select this and then this quick replies there and then you can send across to the customer again coming back to the quick reply now think about it like if there is there are hundreds of quick reply now i don't have that much uh, amount of quick reply but if there are hundreds then you can go here in view all okay and here this will list down all the quick replies available for english chinese catalan and whatnot you know like all those different languages and then you can start uh, selecting those so if now see the weather has come okay now if i click over here okay this uh, quick reply then this quick reply will have this weather defined okay and now if you see over here the first name of the agent has uh, already been taken right now first name of customer has not come okay now why it has not come is because the customer has not been identified right now if you see here visitor number seven okay that's what i can see now if i select a customer let me select any customer from here so let me select alex okay so alex wilbur is one of the customer now see what happens over here now visitor seven is changed to alex wilbur okay and now if i put a quick reply and maybe let me check weather no fair. so uh, let me yes weather is not available over here let me go to the wall and then select weather then if you see here now the customer name has come hi alex earlier it was not has not come because the customer was not identified now the customer is identified so this is the customer and this is the agent okay so if you see here hi first name customer so hi alex and myself first name agent myself Kirish doing well so that's how you get that dynamic text in the uh, quick reply and you send this across to the customer and the customer will receive the text and uh, you're good to go with this that's it folks uh, thanks for watching this is all about uh, quick replies.